What if everything you thought you knew about memory was wrong? Because I'm pretty sure it is. <laughs> the way that memory works is every single time you recall something, it becomes malleable, right? It gets pulled from all the different regions of the brain where it's stored, and then it becomes flexible. It becomes changeable. Um, we don't recognize that, right? It's like a Word document. We open it, even if we make just a subtle little edit and we hit save, we only ever have access to the latest version. A neuroscientist once said, the best way to preserve a memory is to never recall it. Now in change work, what we wanna instigate is a slightly different form of that, which is therapeutic memory reconsolidation. We really wanna cause not just a subtle change, a massive update. So we go through the steps of therapeutic memory reconsolidation, which is to activate the memory, to do something to create a mismatch, right? A prediction error, because your brain, you know, it runs on prediction. When we can put in a prediction error, it causes a kind of um, synaptic unlocking of that memory. And what gets changed is the emotional track of the memory. And to me, this is the biggest thing to happen in, in mental health, um, I mean, ever. A fucking revolution is coming when this information gets more widely spread among the therapy field, the coaching field, you know, any mental health worker should understand the basics of how to, you know, basically take the emotion away from the memory. And that kind of reduces all of the, um, the symptoms that come from that type of even early implicit emotional learning. Right, we have the ability to get in there and and rewrite. So Simone and I are doing a class, um, a free class, and we encourage you to come because we're going to cover a bunch of different ways of how to instigate that. So um, come join us. It's going to be fun.